guys, today I have a look inspired by Ashley Green's look at one of the Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 premieres. It was the one where she was wearing the navy dress and the navy eyeshadow. So I know I just did my sapphire look, but this one's very much very darker and then the lips obviously different. So I thought I'd still do it. Um, my look's not exactly right on because hers is majorly glittery. She had like definite blue glitter going on, but I don't have a blue glitter, so I did the best I could. But anyway, if you want to see how to do this look, please stay tuned. Okay, so I started with a base. I used Maybelline's new color tattoo in electric blue. It's a very good base for this color. And so I just put that, I didn't get that on footage because I forgot to press record. But I just put that all over my lid and the lower lash line. Going pretty high up on the lid. And then the eyeshadow I decided to use is a very shiny one that's like the exact same color as that other one. It's the L'Oreal Infallible in, what's its color name? I don't know. Midnight Blue. And it's a perfect color for this. So you just, just can take your fingers again and pat that all over where you put the base down. And that will really, um, you know, get your main color down. Like that's mainly what you do. I also went ahead and took that matte purple and blended through the crease and then just blended that out because it, because you're applying with your fingers obviously it's not going to look very smooth on the edges. So blend everywhere around the edges. I then went ahead and deepened up the crease with this black color. That is the definer color. It's just a shimmery black. You can use matte black if you want. It doesn't matter. The looks already very shimmery. So I tap that in the outer corner to kind of deepen it. Blend it again. And then I went over the blue a little with this blue which is a um, purpley blue and I just took that it's actually more purple but it adds a lot of blue in it so I took that to kind of add some more shimmer all over the lid as well as I mixed it with this uh, brow bone color that's very frosty and put that in the inner corner and then went ahead and added my eyeliner you want a black liner but you don't want it, it's not going to be too intense just want it black so it will show up this is CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast in Black Fire. Put that on my waterline, my tight line, as well as my upper lash line. And then, that was originally going to be the end of the look, but I thought it needed a little more shimmer, so I went in with my NYX box of eyeshadows and this, like, pretty much straight up, like, pinkish glitter. That's all I really had, but it's up top, on the very top corner. Put that on top and blended that out a little, just to add a little bit of extra shimmer. And then I went in with my mascara. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara, just for nice black lashes. She probably was wearing falsies, but this will be this will do. Then for the cheeks, you want a matte peach. This is a pretty good match for what she seems to be wearing. This is Elf's Tickle Pink. And then for the lips, you want a nice glossy nude. So I took a L'Oreal Caress in Sheer Linen which is a good color for this. And then just to make it even glossier, I added Rimmel Lip Gloss, or Stay Glossy Lip Gloss in Seduce Me, which is just their clear one. And that is all. Alright, so there's the completed look inspired by Ashley Green. It's like a majorly smoky navy look, and I think it's quite pretty, even if it is a bit dramatic. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, be sure to like it below and subscribe. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.